All off season long, coaches and teammates have been raving about wide receiver Seven McGee. They know they can't just show up and play football, um, and no one can. They're, they're all about putting the extra work, and that, that, I think that's in a tribute to what wide seven's game is getting better. McGee's standout camp almost didn't happen here in Eugene. He entered the transfer portal in December, but an hour and a half later, he had a little change of heart. Uh, Coach Lynn and the staff helped, definitely helped me and develop growing myself, so I feel like staying here was definitely the best option. McGee played as a gadget player last year and made the full-time switch to receiver in the spring. But that's not the first time he switched positions. I wore 56s. I played offensive line when I was younger, so... Yeah. You played offensive line? Yeah, I played offensive line. I was a little heavy set, a little chubby dude. I didn't play as much as I wanted to, but it was fun. If you have a difficult time believing that the 5'8", 180-pound speedster toiled away in the trenches, yeah, you're not alone. Seven. <laughs> O-line? He said that? Really? Yep. I need to see the film. The eye in the sky don't lie, right? Seven's film doesn't lie either. All signs are pointing to a breakout year. Now he and the receiver group are just eager to challenge themselves against number three, Georgia. Rankings don't matter, but when you're not ranked in the top 10 as a receiver group, it, you know what I'm saying? Kind of put a little chip on your shoulder. So just really looking forward to going and showcase our talents. Well, one thing we know for sure, Seven won't be showcasing those lineman skills again anytime soon. From Eugene, I'm Trevor Denton.